Okay, we're talking about emotions and being resolute. And it's one thing to say, I'm gonna be resolute mm -hmm. and I am not going to be moved from my walk with God. I'm not going to sink into uh, depression. I'm not gonna become lazy. I'm not gonna let things overwhelm me. I'm gonna stay steadfast. It's one thing to say that, but it's another thing to have to look that thing right in the face. It's yeah. another thing to have to face depression, to actually have jealousy start boiling in your blood, to, to feel envy come up to you, that sick feeling in your stomach of being lonely or left out or rejected. It's another thing when you're in that posture. Yeah. You know, so people might say, yeah, I want to be resolute. I want to be vicious. You know, yeah. I want to be fierce. I want to go after it but I also can't help myself. Mm -hmm. And we know that that's never true because the Bible tells us one of the fruit of the spirit is self-control. So we know that we can, but um, you know, there, there's obviously an issue there mm -hmm. that I think most every person and especially believers, because we want to start doing right, yeah. are, gonna, are gonna face. Uh -huh. Okay, so in order to be resolute, we have to take action. Right. So how do we take action to eventually overcome it? To overcome these emotions mm -hmm. we face? Well. Jesus said, I was um, wounded for your transgressions. I was bruised for your iniquities. Mm -hmm. So these things in us that we seem like, like, I can't overcome this. I can't. I have given this to God. It's like a cycle. I, yeah, it's a cycle. It goes on and on. And what you don't realize is it probably went on and on in great, great grandfather yeah. and great, 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 all the way back to Adam. It went on and on. And that's an internal issue. Mm -hmm. To to be um, wounded is an external bleeding, but mm -hmm. to be bruised is an internal bleeding. And so the Lord was saying, I was bruised for those internal things that mm -hmm. keep on cycling back. I was bruised for those emotional dysfunctions that are going on here. So we know there's an answer. We can never just say like, I can't change, it's me or whatever, you know, this is what you're gonna get. Um, that's never true. He was yeah. bruised for my inner wounds, for, for my inside bleeding, which is that soul pain. So we can't overcome it. So like you said, the question is, how? I think the first answer, and I know it's like, you know, eye roll, you know, but Jesus, yeah. you know, being in his presence, he said, I was the one mm -hmm. hurt for the healing of that. Mm -hmm. So then where do I need to go? I need to go be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. I need to seek Jesus. I need to seek the Holy Spirit. I need to seek the Father. I have got to be somewhere in the presence of the one who was bruised, mm -hmm. the one who went through that for me. So number one, I think there's got to be this constant seeking of his anointing, which yeah. is his presence. Yeah. What destroys the yoke? Mm -hmm. The anointing. So I've got to be around his anointing and it will actually, that's a yoke. Mm -hmm. You know, the yoke binds like, the, yeah. you know, binds like the, ox. the ox. Yeah. <laughs> and if I go here, she's got to go there. And if, if she goes there, I have to go because we're, we're bound by the yoke. So the, the, the Bible says the only thing that breaks that is the anointing, the very yeah. presence of God comes and severs that to where I can say, Oh, I have to go where you tell me to go no more. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to. <laughs> I don't know why I sound like that. But you know, I don't. You can actually go, and I don't have to go. Yeah. Depression can. I can see the depression. I can see the anger. I can see, yeah. but I actually don't have to go anymore. Have Have you experienced those freedoms? Mm -hmm. Me too. And it's like, oh my God, right? It is like the most, the, the most amazing feeling to watch that thing just go on, and you don't have to go. Mm -hmm. Bye, Bye, sis. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day you know and uh and then we go on warning everybody that that little uh -huh. you know thing is out mm -hmm. there and so that's i think that's the first thing 